Isaac has a bit of a history with the Sodre family. Lost a very close match at Worlds to Alessandro. Probably wants to win that one back here. Quick two, two points, points awarded to Isaac Doderline there. None of the side judges contract our head referee, but he is listening to the earpiece. And the head judge's table calls back the points. These are the moments for the athletes that are, are sometimes difficult to navigate. And I really think it's the job of the coaches to kind of keep their athletes calm. Sometimes as an athlete, if the coach is freaking out about a call, it starts to make you wonder if you should be freaking out about a call, right? So it's, you know, regardless of what the refs do, at that point, it's really out of your control. So you just have to keep moving forward in the fight and look to what you can do next. And Isaac Dorderlin look doing exactly that, you know, looking very focused, looking composed. Yeah, you made a great point earlier, Kendall, about focusing on the next 10 seconds, and that's something that Isaac has to definitely do now and not be thrown off by the, the points being called back. Right. It's the only thing that exists. Seeing a lot of lasso today. It's no different here. Isaac using his right knee to clear that heel off. It's a really smart tactic. Forces Sadre to pop his foot out and brings it right back in, though, to try to readjust. And again, we mentioned earlier, that's an interesting thing because the referees tell us we are not supposed to speak to them about resets, but we can speak to each other and have them over here. That's kind of the, the uh, loophole there. That was nearly a conversation, but anyways, <laughs> the uh, action returns here. Reset didn't seem to affect the match much. They're right back in that third of the, the mat there towards the edges. And Isaac really has some of the best passing in the featherweight division. Happy to be on top or many favor to be guard players. So Dre, though, really slowing things down there with double lasso. Isaac doing his best to free himself. Really beautiful work by Isaac to continue to break those lassos off. But Sadre pretty insistent here, putting them back in. See if he uses them to try to off balance Isaac or try to tilt him side to side, start to get some action going. But so far, it seems like Isaac is definitely setting the pace of the match. Clears the last was off yet again. Now's the time where you really can start to get some of a side-to-side -side movement in. As soon as those lassos are off, have to start moving to the side because a good lasso player wants to insert them right back in as we're seeing right now with Saudre. Isaac, here we, really? Here we do start to see him moving a little bit more side to side. He's cleared those grips off. No more lasso exists. The trouble here is finding the angle before you close the space. If you close the space right away and go into the guard of Sadre, he's going to replace those positions again. Whereas if Isaac starts to create some movement and finds an angle from the outside and then closes the space in, he might be able to avoid some of that tricky guard play. But we are back into a double lasso yet again. And I really am interested to see Sarge's game plan here. We haven't seen too much offense yet. But he could be having something in mind as far as attacking the strong top position of Isaac. Yeah, great point. I, just, uh, I was just thinking how good Isaac has, has done of a job of removing those lassos. Sometimes we see three, four, five even minutes tick off with someone just kind of waiting for the lasso to be removed by the athlete on bottom. But Isaac has extracted himself almost three or four times at this point. It's really impressive. It's hard to do. It's very difficult to do. So yeah, it just goes to show the, the level of Isaac Dorland's passing. And I think if he continues to do the same thing, he's gonna start to wear Sadre down a little bit more, either forcing a pass or just forcing Sadre to try something new. And that might be exciting to see too. Sadre has some other tricks, I'm sure. Some other guards he likes to play, but now switching to a bit of a spider on the right-hand side. It's a little bit different already. Yeah, so Dre really playing a conservative game here in bottom. Haven't seen a strong sweep attempt yet. But again, Isaac is making life difficult for him as he does aggressively look to pass. Attention, please. Put your pop in.
and see Isaac's corner urging him to just continue to break off the spider in the lasso, not to rest here at all, not to let Saja be comfortable, just to continue clearing that guard. It is exhausting, though, clearing those kinds of guards. This involves a lot of explosion, a lot of precise movement as well. You can't just bat, you can't just, you know, bash through them and throw your body around. You do have to be very precise, as we see here with Dorland's really, really impressive footwork and elbow rotation. But very fatiguing. And Sajay quick to replace the hooks as soon as they're gone. 4.30 left on the clock. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. There we go. Big explosion from Isaac. He's in open territory for the moment. So Dre looks to regard. Isaac still pouring on the pressure here. Nice inversion here by Sojai, but his foot did get stuck in the gi for a moment. The gi goes over Isaac's head. We're going to have an adjustment here, but this is a better position for Isaac than we've seen so far. Sojai back with the left-handed lasso again. And really looking to score and submit, right? That's what we're, that's what we're here to do. Looking to score, looking to advance, looking to submit. Yeah, so Dre keeping a close eye on the clock. I've seen him check several times throughout this match. 3.30 approaching. Isaac, despite putting in quite the workout here, does not appear to be drained. Ready to explode once more. Yeah, really great stamina here by, uh, by Dodderlin. I mean, just passing and passing and passing again and not letting up at all. And just so agile here on top with relentless pressure. Three minutes remaining on the clock, and Isaac has not stopped moving for seven minutes. Really impressive. Sajay back in here on the spider lasso again. Potentially could use that right side on the spider to start to off balance Isaac toward the lasso side, maybe get some motion going into some more uh, threatening attacks. But so far, just kind of keeping Isaac at bay. The second Sodre switches to collar lasso, Isaac looks to explode, but then settles in here into this crouch low stance here. Two just a minutes little. left on the clock. And you have to think Isaac started to, begin to get a little frustrated with how things have been going here. This is one of those frustrating positions, too, from a... Uh a ref's point of view where sometimes it's hard to tell who's creating a lot of the action if passing is forcing the defense to look active. But now we do see Sajra coming up on a single leg here, but not before the referee does call for a stoppage and back to the center for a reset due to going out of bounds. Almost ran into us at the table over here. <laughs> yeah, that was an explosive, the first explosive movement we've seen from Sodre here. No point scoring, but you have to wonder how that may uh, affect the judge's interpretation of how this match has been going. 1.30 left on the clock. We are very, very close here to the end of this finals match. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll see what the tactics are here towards the last final minute. So Dre right back to where he's very comfortable. 1.10 on the clock. If Sojay hopes to win this match, he is going to have to start to get a lot more aggressive. And I think we are going to get that answered. We're going to see that. Isaac staying aggressive as he has been. Looking for the pass. Strong underhook on the left-hand side, but stuck in the lasso on the right still. Sojay inverting now. Now we're seeing some, a lot more activity in on the far leg. Isaac firing back with a quick toehold of his own. Now we're into the 50-50 nearly. With the lapel here, Sodre looking to sweep. He's almost up. 
Isaac fighting it off for now. Knee bars look, looks on. Tricky position for Isaac because if he starts to act like he's defending, then there will be an advantage. But he didn't do any defensive movements, so we don't know if the referee will award an advantage for this knee bar attempt or not. 15 seconds left on the clock. There are no advantages for Sweet from 50-50, so we don't have to worry about that. But the knee bar may have been enough to do it. There it is. The advantage is awarded. Very tactical approach from Sodre, earns himself the featherweight gold medal here. We see that final exchange 